You know, there's nothing really special about these people. And what we're facing is a situation where people who we have appointed to manage infrastructure for us are in abuse of the office that they hold. And there's plenty of ways of taking action against this by making claims against these people. I mean, especially in the United States, I mean, as I've so often said, every politician in the United States has to sign the APAC pledge in order to get funding to run for office. So they essentially pledge allegiance to a foreign power in order to get funding to run for a political position in the United States. And through this mechanism, you find the United States is constantly fighting wars for Israel. And you are now in a situation where the United States is funding Israel to the tune of around about $11 million a day in so-called aid. So what if someone in the United States was to file an affidavit making the claim that this certain politician, whoever you choose, happens to be committing treason due to his pledge of allegiance to a foreign power before running for office in the United States and that he has therefore acted in a conflict of interest and has worked to remove wealth and funding from the people of the United States and send it to a foreign power and he has personally contributed by voting yes on aid packages to this foreign nation which is not only committing open war crimes in as much as it is in clear breach of Article 33 of the Fourth Geneva Convention, indicating this particular politician to be supporting war crimes himself and therefore a war criminal himself, but not only while this nation is committing these war crimes, it is in the process of impoverishing the people of the United States to the tune of $11 million a day. So what if someone was to lodge an affidavit along those lines and was to claim damages against this politician for the hardship and impoverished situation this decision has put you into and has put the rest of the country into and the hardship that you are suffering due to this loss of support for your own community by politicians who've been elected to actually care for their communities and the constituents that they represent? And not only that, but politicians who stand in open treason simply due to their signing of the APAC pledge. What if every politician who had signed the APAC pledge was to have such an affidavit lodged against them? How would they be able to combat that? Because the fact of the matter is that what you've lodged in that affidavit is the simple truth. And unless these politicians can debunk that truth, then it stands as an affidavit in law and therefore becomes a truth in law. And all of these politicians can be liable for their actions if they cannot debunk or prove that affidavit you have lodged to be false, which they can't because it isn't. It's simply stating the facts as being the way they are, getting it notarized and lodging it as a truth in law which gives you the ability to basically call these people out for what they are and hold them accountable for their actions. So people should start making claims against these politicians, ladies and gentlemen. You really should, because these politicians are not doing the right thing. And unless we can claim the facts of this matter and lodge these as truths in law and let them sit there and see if they can be debunked, which they can't, then these politicians are going to continue to get away with what they're doing. You know, we can stand up for ourselves, folks. We have to do it in the right way. Baby steps. Like I said, a lot of people believe the system is real. So these people need baby steps. And really, this is a baby step. But for some people, it's a really, really huge thing to do. Just to take this responsibility on their back and just to garner the courage to actually lodge an affidavit like this takes a lot of strength for a lot of people. And... As I said, you need to get these notarized in order to lodge them as affidavits. And if you come across a notary or a justice of the peace who will not notarize this for you, demand to see him. Demand to find out who this person who is claiming he can prevent you from making a claim is and then make a claim against him as well. That's another way around that situation.